part of my journey is by ICE, Intercity Express train from, uh, first we went to uh, um, Hanover, then we've changed here at Hanover and are now on the way to Kiel. Now, uh, interestingly, at uh, Hanover, several of the trains were uh, reporting problems with the Klima uh, Anlage, the uh, air conditioning, and um, this coach that I'm currently standing in is actually one of the ones that has failed. So this is coach turned it's completely empty apart from a few um, compartments at the far end which have a lid. But this is actually quite hot and it's quite interesting to see. So what I'll do is I'll do a quick shot of what an ICE train looks like when there's uh, no air conditioning working. Anyway, so remember the sauna on, uh, on wheels that um, uh, was talked about? Well, this is what we've got. It's been about 30 odd in outside and the, and the trains are, uh, um, are starting to suffer again. So uh, anyway, so this is the first part of the journey and I will take a few shots of the uh, internet inside of the uh, carriage. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's a, this is what an ICE looks like when it's wet. No air conditioning. Kiel today or this morning we're going to catch the ferry to Oslo this afternoon but uh, I just thought I'd take the morning to have a look around Kiel. Anyway I'm outside one of the uh, churches here in uh, Kiel it's the uh, Nikolai Kirk and uh, it's a brick gothic church. It's uh, a lot older than it looks from the outside I suspect they probably in the uh, 19th century put lots of brickwork up on the uh, to make it look nice but it, it is a tradition of brick gothic in this area no stone of course really nice church really nice uh, inside very german situation no original stained glass one of the real tragedies of uh, the third reich here in germany was that you the uh, the Nazis refused to let the uh, uh, people take uh, the stained glass out. In Britain, it was taken out, and they, they had their windows blocked up for the war. And so we still have our medieval uh, stained glass. These place like this, Kiel was fairly uh, much obliterated in the war because it's a, a major port and it was the U-boat. Uh, place, the, uh, the centre for that. And um, anyway, so they've lost all their stained glass. They've got modern 1950s. I actually quite like 1950s stained glass, strangely. But uh, anyway, so this is uh, part of Kiel. What I'll do is I'll take a few more pictures of places and uh, try and get, give you some impressions. Yes, Kiel. A mixed blessing having being having your uh, town uh, rearranged by the RAF and uh, the USAF. But um, you do have some nice little bits, of which this is one. Okay. Hello, I've just been for a little walk around Kiel. I've taken some photographs. Hopefully I'll have made a video connecting all those photographs together with a little bit of a talk over it. But anyway, the boat behind you is the one we're going to be going on. That's the boat to uh, Oslo. And I'm on the car park, the roof car park of the hotel. And um, it's, uh, I thought it was uh, a good shot to give you an impression of Kiel. You can probably hear the traffic in the background, but anyway, this is Kiel, so you can see it. There we go. And so you've got the, this is the station building behind the one difficult to see and then oh we go to car park anyway one of the things about uh, Kiel one of the things that I found interesting 
was, in fact, this is the birthplace of Max Planck. Max Planck, if you know uh, your uh, science history, was the man who proposed the idea of having uh, quanta. And since I'm reading Feynman's thesis at the moment, I thought it was singularly appropriate. Unfortunately, we haven't got time to go to his uh, birthplace or to his memorial. He was here, um, born here, and went to the uh, university and uh, was professor at the university for a short time. He didn't do his important research here, but he did do his, uh, he was born here, and he's a son of Kiel. Anyway, so we'll be going onto that boat over there, and we'll be spending 20 hours on the boat going to Oslo. So it's the Kiel to Oslo uh, ferry, and it's huge. It takes 500 cars, apparently, and it leaves at 2 o'clock, and it's about half past 10 in the morning at the moment, so hopefully we'll have fun. Oh, and you can hear that Kiel is a, uh, a port city. Anyway, take care. See you later on. Hello, I'm on the uh, 